Today I am sharing over a hundred journal prompts for entrepreneurs. Hi, my name is Kath Kyle from kathkyle.com and I help entrepreneurs to earn more, work less and have more fun in the process. So if you like these kind of mindset type videos for entrepreneurs, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel for more. So let's get started. These journal writing prompts will help you to write your way to success in business by changing your mindset and attracting more dream clients to you. Whenever I feel like giving words to my thoughts as a business owner, I find that using journal prompts is really useful for this purpose. The fact that prompts encourage introspection and reflection of past and present events makes them a good starting point in case you're feeling unsure about what to write in your work journal. What I like most about these questions is they also help you to attract success in your business and they even help you to earn more clients. By contemplating the thoughts you've just written, you will be motivated to realise them and stay positive about your business goals. To help you begin your own work journal, I have listed over a hundred prompts that are specifically intended for entrepreneurs like you and me. I suggest that you answer a few of these questions every day as they will really help you to understand your business and take it to the next level. One, have your objectives changed from when you first started? Two, which markets are you trying to sell to? Three, what platforms are available to you to promote your brand? Four, which industries are you willing to try out in your pursuit of successful ventures? Five, what can you learn from your competitors? Six, if you could spend money on just one investment, what would it be? Seven, when do you think is the right time to level up your business? Eight, what are the best and worst things that could happen if you shift your business interests somewhere else? Nine, are you willing to try out new business trends? Which ones? Ten, how do you visualize yourself catering to your preferred clients? 11. When did you start thinking about taking your business to the next level? 12. What options are you looking into for a possible revamp in your business or brand? 13. What impact do you want to make on the community through your business? 14. Are your new goals aligned with your earlier objectives? 15. How are you planning to win new clients this quarter? 16. Do you feel empowered whenever a client initiates a business with you? 17. Which deals or sales do you intend on closing this week? 18. How important is business integrity to you? 19. Do you feel pressured to level up the playing field because of your competitors? 20. What are the things that you would like to improve in your business? 21. What is your idea of perfect client relationships? 22. What do you think is your biggest advantage among other businesses in your industry? 23. Do you think tapping on technology will help you to gain more clients? 24. What is a perfect client base for you? 25. Visualize your future self. How much will you have changed after you've decided to grow in your business? 26. Is business expansion not far from turning into a reality soon? 27. If you could switch places with a top competitor, how would you handle their business? 28. Have you been consistent with your performance as a business owner? Do you plan to keep it that way or adjust it according to your newer goals? 29. Do you feel ready to adjust to a bigger clientele? 30. Are your resources sufficient to finance your desired expansion? 31. The economy is constantly changing with trends that come and go. Which skill sets are you planning to cultivate to support your business's longevity? 32. What have you learned so far from running your business? 33. Do you have any regrets about particular investment decisions? Why? 
34. Do you feel obligated to attend to your client's needs? 35. Are you still the same business person from when you first started? 36. What is your biggest mistake during the course of your business? 37. To who, who do you owe your business smarts? 38. Did you have a mentor before you started? What was it like learning from them? 39. What business trends do you see happening in the future? Are you prepared to ride the wave? 40. Why did you start your business in the first place? 41. What motivates you to keep growing your business? 42. Who or what do you work hard for? 43. Do you, do you prefer to undergo a business expansion or stay the same and simply remain consistent with your customer approved services? 44. Has your business been involved in a sticky situation? How did you deal with it? 45. If you could spend $10 million in one day, how would you use it in your business? 46. Which old business advice do you still find useful these days, especially for your business? 47. Which books on entrepreneurship do you plan to read for your business insights? 48. If you could recommend one book to other business people, what would it be and why? 49. What groundbreaking predictions do you have that will change the business playing field? 50. What's the worst advice that you took from somebody? 51. Which Twitter accounts do you follow for your daily dose of business in inspiration? 52. Do you meet with your team regularly? If so, what do you discuss mostly? 53. Reflect on a recent crisis that your business has fallen into. What do you think could have been done to prevent it? 54. Do you have backup plans for each of your business proposals? 55. Have you experienced being shortchanged by your clients? How did it feel? 56. How much was your first inventory money? 57. Do you think you have already achieved sufficient ROI, return on investment? 58. What are the five things or tools that you can't afford to lose in your business? 59. What marketing techniques do you think will click with the prospective clients or customers? 60. Do you prefer to try new methods of running a business or opt for the tried and tested routes? 61. Reflect on the biggest struggle you have had when you started out. How does it feel to see the fruits of your labour? 62. What are your top three business priorities for this year? 63. Which particular business news caught your interest this week? 64. Have you dealt with an expert in your industry? What was it like hearing from them? 65. Do you plan on attending a business summit this year? 66. Where do you recently hold business meetings with clients? 67. What are the cues that tell you if a client is interested in your business? 68. Have you attended a business conference before? If so, what are the key takeaways from the event? 69. What specific things do you fear about running your business? 70. Do you think you're meant to achieve greater heights as an entrepreneur? 71. What are the common characteristics that you share with other business people? 72. What are the common misconceptions people have of your business? 73. Does your logo accurately symbolise your core values as a business entity? 74. What are your thoughts about businesses closing down too early in the industry? 75. What do you feel about the prospect of a business shutting down for good? 76. Who are the top three tycoons you look up to and why? 73. Which is the most helpful feedback you have received from your client so far? 78. How do you manage your time between work and home? 79. Are you willing to sacrifice anything in order to succeed in your business? If so, what would it be? 80. 
If you were given a chance to be interviewed for a feature, which part of your business operation would you like to be highlighted and why? 81. Reflect on how you came up with your brand name. Does it still ring true to this day? 82. What slogans do you think will click with the general public? 83. What is one business proposal that you tried to pitch but failed? Would you still like to give it another chance? 84. How does it feel to launch a new service or product? 85. What are your thoughts about high accuracy analytics? Do they accurately predict business variables? 86. Have you ever felt stressed out because of your business engagements? What do you feel about entrepreneurs hustling all week? 87. What is one industry or trade secret that you swear by? 88. What makes your brand an indispensable entity in the community? 89. Are your business goals aligned with social responsibility? 90. What are your thoughts about sourcing raw materials from community producers? 91. What insider tip has helped your business in the past? 92. How do you nurture a healthy client relationship? 93. What are your brand's or establishment's most highly reviewed products or services? 94. If there was just one thing that sets you apart from your competitors, what would it be? 95. How do you deal with criticisms about your business? 96. Which quotes of famous tycoons do you try to live by? 97. What particular advice didn't work for your business? 98. If you could change the situation when you started your business, what would it look like? 99. What was one thing that you can't agree on regarding business operations? 100. If you were not doing business, which industry would you likely join instead? 101. How are you treating your team so far? 102. What are the common responses by your clients regarding your business offerings? 103. How does your business participate in charitable or social work? 104. Which partic particular news about your business still gives you a thrill? 105. What upcoming products or services are you most excited about? 106. What would a long-time client tell people about your business? 107. How do you want your clients to remember your brand? 108. Do you see yourself doing the same businesses in the next five years? So now that we've gone through all the journal prompts, you might be wondering what the next steps are for your success and you might be looking for the right tools that your online business needs for success. I have a free gift for you that will give you all the tools that I have used myself to create a six figure blog. You can either click the link below or you can go to the blog post to see these journal prompts for entrepreneurs and get the full list of journal prompts and get the passive income toolkit here. So in conclusion, there's indeed something about writing that makes you feel grounded and motivated. If you wish to remain positive about your business endeavours, you should start writing your journal in such a way that it encourages you to rediscover yourself and your potential. I hope this list of journal prompts for entrepreneurs will train your mind into focusing on your business goals and never losing sight of the vision which established your company in the first place. And I have a lot of related videos related to this video and other ones that you might be interested in so I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell to get information on future updates. Take care, bye!